How often do you think about your heart health? Are you aware of the risks of cardiovascular disease? Well, let's dive into the heart of the matter. Cardiovascular diseases, encompassing coronary heart disease and stroke, claim the top spot as the leading cause of death in the United States. Particularly at risk are Blacks and Hispanics in underserved communities. It's a sobering reality, isn't it? But there's good news. Cardiovascular disease is largely preventable. Stay tuned to learn how you can keep your heart beating strong. Heart Smarts, a health program, is here to empower you to live a heart-healthy lifestyle. This program is not just about information, but about transformation. It offers a comprehensive approach to help you understand and achieve heart health. Heart Smarts is committed to reducing the incidence of cardiovascular disease, the leading cause of death in the United States. The program focuses on underserved communities where the risk of heart disease and stroke is greatest. Through education and empowerment, HeartSmarts aims to turn the tide on these statistics. It's a call to action, a call to change, a call to live healthier, longer lives. HeartSmarts is about arming you with the knowledge and tools you need to make HeartSmart choices every day. It's about the power of prevention and the promise of a healthier future. Remember, HeartSmarts is not just a program, it's a life-changing journey. It's about taking control of your health, one heartbeat at a time. But don't just take our word for it. Listen to these stories from people who have benefited from heart smarts. Imagine being told you're at risk for heart disease, a leading cause of death in the United States. Now picture having the knowledge and tools to combat that risk head on. For people like Maria, a single mother from an underserved community, heart smarts was a beacon of hope. The program informed decisions about her heart health, ultimately, ultimately, reducing her risk of cardiovascular diseases and then there's John, a middle-aged man who was once a prisoner of his poor lifestyle choices. For him, Heart Smarts was not just a program, but a lifesaver. It opened his eyes to the risks he was taking and gave him the push he needed to commit to a healthier lifestyle. These are not just testimonials. They are life-changing stories. Stories of empowerment, resilience, and triumph over heart disease. These are real stories from real people who have seen the impact of heart smarts in their lives. Are you ready to be the next success story? Your heart health is in your hands, and with heart smarts, you have the power to make a difference. It's time to take that first step towards a healthier lifestyle, a step that could redefine your future. Heart smarts is not just an ally, it's a beacon, guiding you to make informed decisions for your heart health. So why wait? The path to a healthier heart is just a click away. You'll find the link to Heart Smarts right down in the description below. Start your journey towards a healthier heart today with Heart Smarts. Have you ever wondered how a TV show can change pop culture? It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? Today, we're diving into the cultural impact of one such show, Parks and Recreation. When it first aired, it was just another sitcom, but over time, it grew into something more. It became a phenomenon, captivating audiences with its unique blend of humor, and character-driven narrative. The show's witty one-liners, quirky characters, and heartwarming moments resonated with viewers, turning it into a pop culture staple. The show's portrayal of a small town in Indiana and the shenanigans of its parks department became a cultural touchstone, influencing trends, catchphrases, and even memes. And all of these elements have contributed to its enduring impact on popular culture. So how did a sitcom about a small town's parks department become a cultural phenomenon? Buckle up and let's find out how. In the spring of 2009, a new sitcom hit the airwaves. Parks and Recreation, a show conceived by Greg Daniels and Michael Schur, the same minds behind the American version of The Office, was born. The creators envisioned a comedic exploration of the mundane yet vital world of local government, set in the fictional town of Pawnee, Indiana. This was a show that sought to find humor and heart in the every, everyday workings of a parks department. From the outset, the characters were larger than life. There was the eternally optimistic and indefatigable Leslie Nope, played to perfection by Amy Poehler, the gruff yet endearing Ron Swanson, brought to life by Nick Offerman, and a host of other quirky, lovable inhabitants of Pawnee. Yet, Despite the strong performances and compelling characters, the initial response was lukewarm at best. Critics found the show's tone too similar to that of The Office, and audiences were slow to warm up to the characters and their world. However, Parks and Recreation was not a show that would be easily dismissed. 
the creators listened to the feedback and made adjustments. The second season saw a shift in tone, the humor became more character-driven, and the characters themselves evolved. Leslie Nope transformed from a somewhat clueless bureaucrat into a fiercely competent and ambitious public servant, and the relationships between characters deepened, adding layers of complexity and warmth to the show. Audiences began to respond, the ratings climbed, and the critics started to take notice. The show was praised for its clever writing, its unique blend of humor and heart, and its authentic portrayal of the highs and lows of local government. Yet, even as the show began to find its footing, no one could have predicted the lasting impact Parks and Recreation was about to have on pop culture. It wasn't an instant success, but Parks and Recreation was about to make 